My husband posted my body online last Friday. I spent my evening with Kate, a young friend from work, as she wanted to discuss something personal with me. I didn't think anything of it as we do have a very personal relationship outside of work as well. As soon as I arrived to her place, the tension in the air was thick. She explained that she wanted to discuss a serious matter with me, but that she didn't know how to go about it. I told her to just rip the band aid off and tell me. She told me that she had found two recordings of a woman she believed to be me on a pornographic website. I told her that wouldn't be possible but she was adamant that I was the woman in the recording. And she was right. I've never recorded myself naked or having sex with my husband but there I was in two recordings of seven minutes and four minutes both of them recorded in our old bedroom. As I rewatched every second of this it starts to dawn on me that this was my husband's doing. But I pushed that deep down because there must be a reasonable explanation for this. Honestly I left her place with my mind in a complete meltdown. I could barely hear what she was saying but she did follow up with a text saying she's been in contact with the website about getting it taken down and that she'll help me go through this. She also said she's scouring the internet in case there are more out there. I came home and pretty much ransacked my house looking for evidence and I found it. My husband was using a hidden spy camera to spy on me and record me in my most intimate moments. I then just spent hours vomiting, crying, projectile vomiting somewhere and begging God to just let this be a nightmare. I am a deeply religious and a fully veiled Muslim woman and I've never been with anyone but my husband and all this time he has been sharing my most intimate moments with the world. I don't know what to think or what to do. I can't look at him or speak to him. I've locked myself in our bedroom pretending I have COVID since. All I do is look up how other people have dealt with getting things removed and it seems like once it's on the internet it really is forever even if I remove it from this one website. I've been crying non-stop. He truly must be something demonic as he is right now talking about ordering in some of my favorites to see if I have an appetite since I haven't been eating well. I am so unbelievably hurt. I don't know how to share this with my family how to ask for help I am crippled with shame, anger and pain. My GF thinks being pregnant is funny or something my GF keeps making jokes about her being pregnant after we had sex without protection and it's starting to get to me. It's seriously starting to make me mad and nervous. She knows how much the thought of being young with kids scares me and I feel like that's one of the reasons why she's doing it. I was telling her this before we had sex but she was like, well it's not fair if you don't want to because I want to do this, I bet you you blank would agree to it, and how she was on birth control anyways, so I just agreed, to be clear she was saying this because she didn't want to use protection. I did want to and we were arguing about it, after we were done she started laughing about how she skips her birth control pills sometimes. Of course I was like what's your problem? Why wouldn't you say that before? And she just told me to calm down and that it would be fine. Ever since then straight jokes about her being pregnant. Just things like eating weird things or posing in the mirror with her hands on her stomach like a pregnant woman. And she's acting like I'm the crazy one and that I'm overthinking it but it is so obvious she's doing it to mess with me. I do not find this funny or okay and it's starting to upset me. I'm not trying to put the blame on her. I know it's my fault. I have possibly ruined my life. My Tinder date stole my expensive perfumes. He texted today to plan a second date, I don't fucking believe it. I'm starting to regret ending my loveless sexless marriage. I got divorced about a year ago and I've been on Tinder for a month now. Went for walks and coffee a few times. One guy was nice and pleasant. After a few dates we ended up in my apartment. When he took a shower afterwards he came back to bed and commented that I had so many perfumes and only expensive ones and we laughed about how smelly I must be to have all these perfumes. We went to bed. Had breakfast the day after and he left. That was yesterday when I was cleaning the bathroom later, three of my perfumes were missing. I was shocked. I looked everywhere and after about 2h I realized they were gone. I know he took them because I used one of them before he came to our date so I know they were there and nobody visited before or after. Now he texted asking how my day was and if I wanted to see him again. I guess the perfumes he took weren't enough and he wants back for more. Is this dating now? 
my new life? I've been out of order for over 15 years and now it feels like I've entered a new dimension. Please someone tell me this is going to get better at it, I'm not interested in getting back my perfumes. Or meeting him in any shape or form. I'm just ranting about my first date in over 15 years going this bad. Also, I was joking about regretting my divorce. I just find this whole thing laughable and a bit scary actually. Edit 2. Also stop creeping in my DMS to ask me to send you money at least take me for a walk and a coffee first and some mediocre coitus. Love short story, my first love I was just 13 years old when I fell in love with a boy 4 or 5 years older than me. It was the most ecstatic feeling and I still cannot get over it, as they say when a woman falls in love, she can never fall in love again, although I was a teenager then, but I still have vivid memories of that boy and how I felt for him. I was a smart, bubbly and a cute little teenager, who enjoyed life and was living life to the fullest, when suddenly life changed for me. I had set my eyes on him the first time when he had come to the colony park and he was chatting with his friends. I found him so handsome, his curly, dark brown hair and large dark brown eyes. I was floored. Though now when I look back, I laugh it off as mere infatuation, but I don't know why I felt an instant connection with him, when he looked into my eyes, my heart fluttered and I used to feel so nervous and excited at the same time. You won't believe it, but I never spoke to him but still I felt a strong connection to him, he was so handsome and so good-looking, that whenever I used to look at him I could not stop myself from staring at him and he hardly bothered to even turn around and look at me, for him I was insignificant as I was much smaller than him, therefore he hardly even tried to take any interest in me. Each day when I used to go to the park I used to up my hair differently and wear my best of dresses to look. Nice lest he spots me there but every day he used to be so engrossed in chatting and playing with his friends that he hardly took notice of me. I was so mad after him that I used to stand in the balcony for hours on end, just to get a glimpse of him and sometimes I used to keep peeping out of the window, so that I could see him playing in the park, but I would spot him only a few times, rest of the times I would just just sadly retreat to my studies or doing some other work. As days passed things remained the same when slowly and gradually he started noticing that I stare at him all the time when I am around him, in the park or in any shop nearby. Once I remember I was standing in the neighborhood bakery and he suddenly walked in with his friends, probably to buy something. I turned around and as usual started staring at him and he was standing opposite me when suddenly a lot of people came in between us and it was a funny situation and I could see just one half of his face and I caught him staring at me with one eye. I was shocked as it was so sudden and the depth with which he was staring at me cannot be explained in words, there was admiration and tender love in them. I then left the bakery feeling very shy until now I cannot forget that look of his in the bakery. Another time I felt very shy was when we both passed each other when I was coming back from school. We were walking on the side of the road and he suddenly saw me walking down the road, swaying my bag along my side. He was chatting with his friend and when I passed him, I stopped swaying my bag and I quietly tried to pass him and then he turned around and looked fondly at me. I walked away feeling shy and embarrassed at the same time. Anytime I came in direct contact with him and whenever he looked at me I always felt a soft tenderness in his eyes and the warmth of his heart touched me deep inside. This boy was very tall and fair and had the loveliest hair and a very smart moustache and whenever I looked at him I went weak in my knees. I used to dream of him being near me and talking to me and we spending time with each other, but I could never muster enough courage to ever stand in front of him and talk to him. I was too small and too naive to even think of it. Things went on in this way for a few months and nothing happened till one fine day when he smiled at me. Just imagine my Prince Charming smiled at me, finally he took notice of me, and I must tell you, it was the most beautiful smile I had ever seen. I was coming back from school one evening and he was sitting on his bike and waiting for his friend. He saw me coming and when I passed him he did not do anything, but when I went a little further and turned around as I heard some noise behind me and I looked at him, he smiled at me, I was too shocked to respond in any way. I turned around and went to my home. I did not know what to do, but I was mesmerized by his first smile. It was so sudden that I was at a loss of words as to what should my next step be, but fate had other plans for me. Just imagine my bad luck, that when I could think of having a relationship with him, as he had finally acknowledged my presence and smiled at me, I had to go, I had to leave the city for good. 
My father was transferred to another town and I had to leave the very next day, I had to travel all alone, as my father had arranged for school admissions in that town and so I had to leave. I could have had a beautiful relationship with this boy whose name also I did not know. I don't know till now whether it was love at first sight with him or was it infatuation, but one thing I must say and that is, that I will never forget him ever and all that I felt for him, certainly it was my first love, whether it was infatuation or not I don't know, but it was my first experience of any exposure to the opposite sex and you won't believe it that I could never like any other person ever in my life after that, other than my husband. First love is like a fresh blooming flower in the morning sunlight, it is like the first most memorable fragrance you might have smelt in your entire life. It is the most wonderful feeling anyone can ever have and those of you who are reading this story, might feel that I am crazy as I am calling my first crush to be my first love, but only I know how I felt when I was around him and when he looked into my eyes, it was the most ultimate feeling I have ever had in my life. It is unforgettable and I still cherish those tender feelings I had for him. All of those among who have such first loves or crushes as mine will very well understand what I am talking about and when their love does not reach any culmination then they will also feel the same way that I am feeling, whenever I feel very lonely and lost I think of him and I ask God that why he did not unite me with him, why am I subjected to such misery of losing my love at such a tender age. Although I am happy in my present life but when I think of him I cannot console myself. Anyways those are ways of God no one can question them, but again I want to reiterate that that was my first love and I will never forget it ever. End. Forget it ever.